All right, what's good, guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. Hope you guys are having a good day, a good night, whatever time it is that you're watching this. Uh, today's story time is a uh, quite interesting one, judging by the title. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I was looking through my channel today, just kind of going through old videos and like watching stuff and seeing what I've talked about, and what I haven't talked about, and stuff like that. And uh, I saw this one video that was one of my most popular videos, and it was about catching someone in the bathroom at school doing something they shouldn't have. And it reminded me of another story time that I haven't told on this channel yet. So if you enjoy this, leave a like on the video and let's just get into this. So today's story time all starts off as a normal day two years ago. Now, I'm sitting in my house. I just moved into a new place. I was by myself watching some TV. All my stuff was pretty much still in boxes and uh, pretty much just my TV and my couch were there. Um, everything else was still like packed up. And I was too lazy to unpack. So I was just watching TV pretending like nothing had to get done. And uh, then I realized, damn, I don't have any food at this new house. I should probably go grocery shopping. So I get up off the couch, I pause my show, I grab my keys, and I head out of my house towards Walmart because that was the store nearest to my new house. And uh, I get to Walmart, I walk in, and uh, it was peak Walmart hours. Like, it was full of people. I feel like in most places, like any time between 4 and 7 p.m., it's going to be packed with people. So uh, I get there. It was 6 p.m. on a Friday, so it was just packed with people. And I'm trying to maneuver around, find what I need. I get some groceries. I get like some frozen stuff. And after I get everything I need, um, I'm like, okay, time to check out, right? So I go up to the registers. I wait in line. They scan all my stuff. I pay for my stuff. And I push my car out of line and start leaving the store, right? Now, just as I'm about to leave the store, I'm walking by the bathrooms. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I really have to go. So I should probably do it now and not have to, you know, hold it on the whole way home. Because I had like a 10, 15 minute drive to my house. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go now. No one's going to steal my groceries. I'm not worried, right? So I put them by the door, the bathroom door. I leave my cart there, and I walk into the boys' bathroom. And as soon as I walk in, uh, I go to turn left and go to, like, the stalls. And I can hear someone whispering in the bathroom stall. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, that's really weird. Why the fuck is someone whispering to themselves in the bathroom stall? And then I see under the stall... There are two pairs of legs under the same stall, which means two people are in there together. And one clearly looks like a girl's legs, and the other one looks like a guy's. And they're whispering to each other. And I can hear one of them go, fuck, someone walked in. They were whispering so loud, I could hear their words so clearly. And after I walked into this, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to turn around and walk out and forget this ever happened and just go home. Fuck it. Like, I'll just hold it. I don't have to pee that bad. I'll just hold it till I'm home. No big deal, right? So I turn around to walk out of the bathroom and as I'm about to walk out, another guy walks in. And he's probably the same age as me. And he walks in and he turns the corner and sees the stall and that there's people in there, two in one stall. And he looks at me and he goes, yo, are they fucking in there? And I was like, dude, probably. He's like, yo. So he starts yelling. He's like, yo, you guys fucking in there? Really? In the Walmart bathroom? Have some fucking class. And I'm like, shh, shh, stop it, dude. Like, stop. He's like, nah, fuck that, man. I come to Walmart to shop and I go to use their bathroom and there's two people fucking in there. Just go home. And as much as I wanted this guy to like stop talking and yelling at these people because I didn't want to see like a whole scene get started out of this, uh, I also was really amused by it. I thought it was really funny. But it doesn't end there, okay? So the guy keeps yelling at them and finally the stall door opens and this guy and this girl come out. And they both walk up to me and this other guy, the guy that was yelling at them. And they get in our faces. The guy gets in the other guy's face when I was yelling at them. And the girl gets in my face. And they start talking to us. The guy's yelling at him. She's yelling at me. And they're like, oh, who the fuck do you guys think you're talking to? Like, you're really trying to embarrass us out here. Like, you're making us look stupid. And I speak up. And I'm like, uh, I'm making you look stupid. We're making you look stupid. No, you're making you look stupid. Who goes to a Walmart bathroom to hook up? Like... Just fucking go home and do it there. Why at a Walmart during peak Walmart hours are you here hooking up? And after I say this, the guy gets in my face too. So now the guy and his girlfriend are both in my face yelling at me, telling me that I'm a piece of shit and that I'm being an asshole. And the other dude was standing there backing me up, but it really was just like a weird 2v2 situation. We're just in each other's faces. And all of a sudden, we're like peak arguing. The door swings open to the bathroom and an old man walks in. Probably like an 80-year-old dude, like super old guy. And he sees us in each other's faces and he goes, what's going on in here? And we turn around and we look at him. And I was like, nothing, sir. Just little situation. It's over. Don't worry. And he goes, good, because I don't want anyone watching me while I pee. And I was like, what the fuck? 
And literally all four of us started laughing. Me, this random guy that was kind of started the whole thing, uh, the couple, we're all laughing. Like, even though in that moment we were all kind of beefing, it all just became a big joke as soon as that guy said that. And uh, after we get done laughing, they kind of went back to being mad at me and this guy. But at the same time, it really was over. So I just turned around and I said, have a good day. And I walked out of the bathroom. They also followed behind me and walked out of the bathroom and went their separate ways. Um, And they're lucky that it was me and this guy that caught them because anybody else probably would have called the cops or like, I don't know, got security, but we didn't. So anyway, after we leave the bathroom, I went my separate way. They went their separate ways. And as I was getting into my car and putting in my groceries, I saw the guy in the parking lot, the one that walked in and yelled at them. He's like, yo, man, what the fuck was that back there? That was crazy. Like, who be fucking at a Walmart bathroom? I'm like, I know, man, I know. He's like, for real. And then he says something I did not expect. He's like, yo, this is going to sound super weird, but you sound just like this guy I watch on YouTube. I'm like, let me guess, Luna. He's like, yo, yes, do you know him? I was like, I definitely know him, yeah. He's like, really? I was like, well, yeah, I am him. He's like, nah, you're kidding. I was like, yep, that's me, man. He's like, yo, weird shit really does happen to you. And he comes over and slaps me up. And we took a picture, and uh, I don't know where that photo's at nowadays. Maybe it's somewhere on Instagram, but I never saw it. I wish I knew where it was, because I would definitely put it in this video and just show you guys the guy that was battling the Walmart stall hookup people with me. But yeah, like, this story was crazy, because so many things happened at once. Like, we catch two people hooking up in the bathroom, then a fight almost breaks out between me, this guy, and this couple, and uh, then an old man walks in and breaks it up accidentally by being funny, And uh, then I get recognized in the parking lot by the dude that was uh, kind of the starter of the whole argument. It was just crazy. After this, I got in my car and I went home and I got home and I wanted to make a video about it right away, but I didn't have my PC set up yet. So I was literally just kind of sitting there with no PC, so I couldn't do it. And literally the next day, something crazier happened. So I made a video about that instead when I had my PC set up and I literally just never got around to making this one. So Here I am a couple years later telling this story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Peace out. Oh, also, you should definitely go follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I'm announcing new music soon. So I'll put those in the description. Anyway, peace out.